Hi, I'm Denise. Welcome to Travels on My Chair. It's been a long couple of years, only spending time with family, an occasional friend, no social gatherings. I don't go out very often. Um, I went to the grocery store the other day and I was overwhelmed. So I decided I was gonna do a little gathering of a few of my friends and were very, very cautious about getting COVID. So I thought, okay, I'll have a few over. What am I going to do with them? Well, what I'm going to do is my own version of a ch charcuterie board. Now, here's the, the deal. I'm sitting low down, so I can hardly reach anything. I am pretty weak in my right and left arm, so it's hard for me to cut. Alan's been helping as much as he can, and I'm not using a board because I just didn't want to go out and buy yet one more thing that I don't need. So I'm using a platter that my friend Jeannie gave me last year that I've coveted since the mid 80s. It's special, has memories. It's I think it's called homecoming or something, so very appropriate. I'm really happy that my friends are coming over. I've got some today and some tomorrow. I don't know, I'll show you the charcuterie platter when it's done. I'm so excited I can't stand it. I've been planning this for a couple of months. I've been lonely. Haven't you guys been lonely? You know, there's nothing like the social aspect of your girlfriends. Like these girls go back with me to 1980. I call them girls because I love them. Anyway, and I've missed them. They don't have accessible houses. I can't go see them or they live too far away. And I just have been desperate for girl company to laugh over a glass of wine and share inappropriate stories or memories of our past and some of the dumb things we used to do when we were 30. You know, come along with me. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm pretty darn excited. I hope I'm gonna be able to stand up and hopefully I'll be able to eat because I got enough food to feed all of you guys, all my YouTube friends. Just pretend you're eating because I'd share it all with you. Today, after many months, let's be honest, two and a half years, I'm having a small group of friends over for the first time, and I'm attempting a charcuterie board. Now, I'm showing you this platter from my friend Jeannie, which was her grandmother's, was used in a restaurant in Vancouver many, many years ago in the 50s, and I am going to actually do my charcuterie board on this beautiful platter. I've never done one before. We'll see what happens. Putting in roasted garlic onion spread, uh, pickles, two different kinds of olives, some gluten-free pretzels, some hummus. I've got three or four different kinds of cheese, chocolate, dark chocolate, strawberries. As far as the cheese goes, we've got provolone and brie and a marble cheddar, and a champagne cheddar, which is really delicious. Here she is in all her glory. Provolone, cheddar, brie, fresh carrots from my son's garden, grape gluten-free pretzels, uh, two different kinds of olives, which are still covered with paper, and of course that onion garlic spread. Gonna be very smelly today and about three different kinds of crackers and dark seedless grape. When you're uh, putting together a charcuterie board, try to make sure everything doesn't have pit, whether you're using fruit or olives or anything like that because you don't want anyone to choke. And then I've added two different kinds of dark chocolate placed beside the strawberries and grapes so that people, if they have a sweet tooth, they can have that. And all in all, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty proud of it for my first attempt. And considering it's not a board, but boy oh boy, it sure looked, it was fun to put together, you guys. If you're having people over and you don't feel like doing a full meal or fussing around with the oven on a hot day, this is the way to go. Fun, fun, fun. And then I'll show you what happens when we get together our drink section. So this is where the liquor's gonna go. Mm, table, I haven't brought out the charcuterie yet. It's not a cool table. Bought it years ago at Costco. It's come in so handy. It's probably about 16 years old and it still looks as good today as it did the day we got it. It's granite and the cocker. 
So the copper insert, we can either use it and fill it with ice and for, you know, drink, or we've used it before and put like a Duraflame log in it and had a fire with the kids at night. Works great. Do we uh, care? I'm not very photogenic, but go for it. Okay. You know, so okay. now we're having... <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> oh, look at you too. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I like that and look. we're having our charcuterie <laughs> tray and Leslie like brought some she... treats and oh yes I was going to show you guys the bread. Where'd and you have the we have homemade sourdough bread shirt? and here's my friend Leslie hi Leslie hey, and I told you guys already how excited I was to have these guys over. I told you guys that I haven't slept for two days. God. And oh, poor thing. there's my elderflower and my prosecco. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do cheers for and here. cheers. Cheers to us. Cheers, cheers to us. We Yay. made it through COVID. And here's to you and here's yeah, to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I love Balance, you guys all. Food board oh my flour. gosh. Day two. Next group coming in in about two hours. Now, I discovered yesterday, even though some of the YouTube things that I watch suggest to put in the brie and different cheeses like that, cut a wedge out and then leave them whole or crumble. I discovered that if you cut them into triangles so that it can go on a cracker or whatever, and then do the cheddar in cubes, they are eaten very quickly. Otherwise, they're not touched. Also, uh, the dates wrapped with um, prosciutto it did really well. Uh, the prosciutto that I folded in beautiful little fan-like things you know, they went, but not so great. So I'll get back to you pretty soon. Yesterday, I filled this platter, which is big enough to hold a big turkey, okay? And there was only four of us that ended up coming. And they went, whoa, that's a lot of food. Guess what? Most of it got eaten. Round two complete. You guys, if you want to have a few people over, I was thinking actually making it so that the little grandkids could just enjoy it too because they love cheese and olives and stuff. I thought I do want to put in some, you know, fresh carrots from Keith's garden and chocolate, go with the strawberries and grapes. I mean, I know it's not a professionally arranged charcuterie tray. I know that. But I still think it looks really beautiful and I'm so proud of myself. And you know what? It's impressive. So try it. I think you guys are going to love it. Okay. So this is my second group coming to enjoy our drinks and the charcuterie platter. Cheers. There, cheers. cheers. This is my assistant. She's going to help me edit. She always hits the wrong button on the computer, though, and erases everything I've been working on. She just wants to be close. Gotta love that face. Gotta love that face. Yeah. She's bored right now. She's letting me know she's bored. Not playing with her. Oh, poor her. Poor her. <laughs> yes, I... <sighs> Thanks for joining me today. When I get to hang out with my girlfriends, share some good food and drink, and just sort of dip my toes back into the social life that I've missed for over two years. It was, man, just like having Christmas, only better because you don't have to pick up and clean up the paper after. <laughs> so I'll see you in a couple of weeks. We're probably heading out to Alberta again. And uh, bye for now.